Good evening, and welcome to Access TV. I'm Ashley Nicole, and this is Beyond Incredible, live streamed by Nuxtrum Digital Media from Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator at 720 Olet Ave. Today's program, program, we bring you the update on the level of madness, craziness, and delusional psychosis in Windsor. There are a couple of topics we will cover, and our special guest, Chantel Druin, is here, and she owns a company called Chantilly Lace. In our first segment, Beyond incredible, shameless, cynical, remorseless rats that hide under the umbrella of the Senate to pursue their selfish and careless, careless acts, stealing from the taxpayers. Our second statement, the war against the most disguised enemy, the brain-eating plants, taking another hit to our species. From mayor of Toronto to a crackhead should be very interesting. And for our third segment, we'll have our guest, Chantel Druin. We'll be right back after these commercials. You are watching Exist TV, streaming live from downtown Windsor for the Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator, and this is Beyond Incredible with Ashley Nicole. We'll be right back. You are watching Exist TV, streaming live from downtown Windsor for the Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator, and this is Beyond Incredible with Ashley Nicole. We'll be right back. Welcome back to our first segment. A story from Philosopher Bureau, your ass. A couple of years ago, a man who worked in one of our automotive plants was caught stealing copper connectors and selling them to a scrap metal connector or recycler. He already has stole and sold some few hundred to a few thousand dollars worth of copper from the plants. He was detained, thrown to jail, and he was of course fired with only a few years of retirement, for retirement, with no pension and convicted. Spent some j time in jail as well, no job and no pension. Now we see from the Senate a few rotten apples that think they will get away with stealing from the poor old lady's pension, which is taxed, stealing from taxes, claiming travel expenses, when they don't even live where they said they lived. Thousands of dollars. Beyond incredible, shameless, cynical, remorseless rats that hide under the umbrella of the Senate to pursue their selfish and careless acts of stealing from the most vulnerable people, stealing from the taxpayers. Do they deserve less punishment than the poor guy who steals from the automotive plant? Or do they just walk away with the pension and everything? You and I pay taxes, and that's a lot. Perhaps if you're a senator, the law does not apply to you. That's beyond incredible. I want to hear your thoughts on this. So find me on Facebook, Ashley Nicole, or find us at Nuxtrum Digital Media. Um, or, you know, you can even comment under the YouTube video. Either way, I definitely want to hear your thoughts about everything. Um, Mike Thomas has some thoughts, and he's on the Congress report, Congregation report, sorry, the Congress <laughs> report, my apologies, and that's on Monday night, so, um, so you can always watch his show too, he has some very, very strong thoughts and views about this, so check it out, we'll be right back after these commercials. You are watching Nexus TV, streaming live from downtown Windsor, from the Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator, and this is Beyond Incredible with Ashley Nicole.
you are watching Nexus TV streaming live from downtown Windsor from the Windsor downtown the accelerator and this is Ash this is Beyond Incredible with Ash and Nicole we'll be right back Welcome back to our second segment. We're going to give you an update on the war against the most disguised enemy, the brain-eating plants, taking another hit to our species, from Mayor of Toronto to Crackhead. Finally, Rob Ford came clean and admitted that he was drunk and smoked crack. Uh, but he's not an addict. No, of course he's not an addict. He might be a social drinker and a social user. Those plants are really intelligent. They convinced the mayor of Toronto, one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world, that smoke crack cocaine was fun and safe. That's beyond incredible. What a trip. What's next? Legalizing marijuana? Perhaps legalizing crack pipes and drug paraphernalia? What's next? Perhaps the prime minister admitting he smokes weed every morning to get inspired? Come on, really? Or maybe Mayor Ford admitting smoking something that is going to shock everyone. No one knows what's next. We don't know if the evil plants are gaining Terran in this war, evil plants versus mankind. How is it possible that a plant has so much power to control a human being with brain and legs and hands and eyes? Now, the thing that gets me the most about this whole Mayor Ford, um, you know, uh, admitting that he smoked crack cocaine is that he said that he did it in a drunken stupor, yet he is not an addict and he doesn't have a problem. Um, his driver was arrested. He is up on charges from extortion to drug possession and stuff like that. And, uh, and they caught him on video, the Ford, uh, Mayor Ford or whatever. They caught him on video. He got out of his vehicle, drunk, took a pee. This is at an elementary school, I must add. Took a pee beside his vehicle and then drew or threw uh, a paper bag full of garbage into the dumpster. The police received or went back and got the stuff from the dumpster and it ended up being two bottles of, of alcohol. Now to me that sounds like he's got a pretty bad alcohol problem. Um, you know, um, maybe he should go to rehab. Perhaps he should try and find a 12-step program because I have heard that there are several 12-step programs out there for people who need help. And uh, Mayor's Anonymous perhaps, maybe that could be one Mayor's Anonymous, you know. Um, and it's not the first time that this has happened where a mayor has came to smoke crack. I believe it happened in a, in a city in the States as well. Um, it's just, it's, it's crazy, you know. Um, so now he is urging the police to release the video, which they can't release the video because it's being used as evidence right now. But it's crazy. Um, you're a mayor. Toronto, the people of Toronto which is three million people, maybe even more. You know, it's, it's a big area. They voted him in. It's not like he was handed the job through interviews and stuff like that. They voted him in. You know, he, he got that position due to, due to the vote, you know. And then he goes and he smokes crack cocaine um, and drinks. And I'm sure he smoked weed, you know. <laughs> uh, like, if you're drinking and smoking crack cocaine, what else are you going to do? You know what I mean? Um, it, it's absolutely absurd. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one, too. This is just crazy. Um, watch this week's The com <laughs> Convergence Report with Mike Thomas. I apologize, Mike, if you're watching. I, I do apologize. I stumble across my words sometimes. We'll be right back after these commercials. This program beyond the incredible, a wild ride to the brink of madness. As always, presenting the topics others might be too afraid to expose to the public. 
But let me tell you, the truth is beyond incredible, as it is the title of this program. Fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride. <laughs> You're watching Nexus TV, streaming live from downtown Windsor, from the Windsor downtown Binza Accelerator, and this is Beyond Incredible with Ashley Nicole. We'll be right back. You're watching Nexus TV, streaming live from downtown Windsor for the Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator, and this is Beyond Incredible with Ash and Nicole. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Um, I'm Ashley Nicole, and this is Chantelle Druin. She's our special guest. Hi, everyone. She owns a business called Chantilly Lace. Uh, Chantelle, tell us about Chantilly Lace. Uh, Chantilly Lace is a clothing company that I came up with. Um, the name was kind of inspired by uh, a song that my grandma used to sing to me when I was a kid because my name is Chantal, so that's how I came up with the Chantilly Lace. I do all kinds of clothing. Um, I make uh, Unity scarves is kind of what I've been making a lot of this season. And I do lots of handmade jewelry. Also one of my specialties is um, that uh, I do alteration services. So uh, hems and taking things in, letting things out, you know, around prom season or, um, you know, if there's a special kind of uh, occasion, I can do dressmaking and things like that too. So Great. I kind of wanted to show off what the dress that I'm absolutely, wearing. Absolutely, absolutely. Because I made it. And, um, <laughs> and I'm wearing some jewelry of yours as well. And you are wearing some jewelry, and also we have of some course. other things to show you. So why don't you stand up and okay. show everyone the dress that you made? So this is the sweater dress that I made. Um, I bought the fabric, and a girlfriend of mine wanted a unity scarf. So let's see if we can get a shot of more than just my nether regions there. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <laughs> so this is a <laughs> this is a sweater dress that I made. Um, and I made, like I said, a scarf that uh, kind of matches it too, just from the same fabric. So um, the sweater dresses are kind of popular uh, this season. Um, and then I have the mannequin next to me too. This is my mini Chantal, so I can adjust her to my dimensions when I'm making clothes, so it's kind of cool. And she's wearing um, one of my uh, leopard print scarves. Um, it's kind of fuzzy, so that's nice for the season. Um, it's a t-shirt that I made as well. She's got a, a leopard print skirt with some uh, some metallic tones. And that was, you just saw the, the geode necklace that Alex was zooming in on up there too. And that's a, a piece of my, my jewelry that I make. Oh, that's a nice shot, it's Alex. It's beautiful, thanks. that yeah. is a beautiful shot. It's very clear. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Alex, very nice. Okay, now you've made this coat. <coughs> Actually, you made it specifically for me. So I, sure I did. I, I am going <laughs> to put see. it on. Okay because she does make special coats as well. Finally. No, you guys are going to get coats like this. Please don't steal my buttons because it took me a long time to find these buttons. Yeah. My mom's already asked um, for me to make one for her and, of course, wants the same buttons. It's okay. Your so. mom can have them because I like your mom. Okay. Now, how long did this coat take you to make exactly? I can usually have them ready in about a week. Okay. And um, the price that I'm charging for something like this, this is corduroy. Uh, a shell and then the lining uh, inside uh, and some interfacing too so that makes it a little bit warmer for the season and mm -hmm. of course um, it depends what kind of buttons that you choose uh, Ashley's made it very clear not to choose her um, nice star buttons but there <laughs> are <laughs> other buttons they, to choose from. they do look really nice so yes. yeah um, I charge about uh, 115 120 dollars depending what kind of hardware you use to go on it and there's no tax on that either oh and while so you're zoomed up there there is a ring that Chantel made 
Oh, yeah. You want to get a close-up of it? This is, uh, since, since you were already <laughs> zoomed in there, this is a get ring that she made. There. Oh, this and then is, a beautiful um, bracelet yeah. that she made as well. This is a Shambhala stone ring, um, and the bracelet is uh, Zaworski pearls and Zaworski crystals on the bracelet, and it's a stretch one, so there's no clasp. His bracelets are kind of tricky to get on, so there's no clasp there. Oh, that's a nice shot, Alex. So, yeah, that's the Shambhala ring, um, and I do earrings like that as well, and bracelets, and there's a Zaworski pearls and the Zaworski crystal bracelet on Ashley's lovely tattoo dress. It looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thanks for wearing that tonight, Ashley. No thanks problem. for modeling that coat for me. I'm glad that it, uh, it looks good. And it fits now. Cuffs look good. If it's perfect, I'm happy with it. Yes. Good. Awesome. Um, how about your infinity scarves? Do you want to uh, show us? Put yeah, some on? Um, yeah, I brought a couple of infinity scarves. Um, this one I kind of brought to sort of match that coat, but um, this is kind of like a green leopard one. Here I've got... Um, this is a wool blend, uh, red one. So the Infinity Scarf is an alternative to the traditional scarf that uh, Chantel is wearing on, uh, my mini Chantel mannequin is wearing. Um, it's made like a necklace, so you don't have to tie the scarf. I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, tying the scarf is something that it never really turns out right. So the Unity Scarf, you just put it on and then you can double it like a necklace. You do it like this. Yeah, Ashley's is wearing it like, you know, a little bit tighter up top and a little looser on the bottom. That one can even go around three times. It's a little bit longer. So, um, oh yeah, and just to kind of keep your neck. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to worry about tying it or like where the ends go. So these Unity scarves I am making, um, one like Ashley's is uh, runs about 15 and one like mine or in the animal print, um, like the mannequin hat on, they run about $20. And Again, there no are tax, mittens. So. Where did those mittens go? I was going to put them on. I do. I have some matching mittens. Um, fabric, let's see. They're, They're very warm. They're thermal. These ones, yeah, they are um, made with the uh, the fill. Is uh, <laughs> Thanks for the close-up. It looks really good. The the fill is, uh, yeah, they're thermal mittens. So um, they're definitely, they're like three layers thick. And of course, they look really fuzzy too, but they they're will. Very nice and warm. They will keep you extra warm. And the mittens run about 15 to $17, depending on the fabric that you get for the shell part of them. And you can make hats so. and, and stuff like that as well, right? Oh, absolutely. I can make pr just about anything. Um, pretty much just about anything. So you've seen jackets, t-shirts, scarves, dresses, sweaters. Oh, I've got a couple sweaters here too that are kind of like the one that I've made into the sweater dress, but just like a, an actual sweater size um, length, I should say. So there's a couple here too. The, the sweaters are about 30. The sweater dress that I'm wearing runs about 40, again, depending on the fabric. So, I mean, pretty much whatever you want. I've done a couple of uh, suits for some boys earlier this spring for their prom. And um, I'm working on a denim blazer right now for one of my friends, um, for a, a male actually. So mm -hmm. I do guys clothes too. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And you're going to be at Willisted Manor. You're going to have a vendor there, um, I believe, a vending booth. I do. So every Sunday afternoon, I believe it's from one till four. Every Sunday in December, it's just an open house at Willisted. Mm -hmm. So um, and every Wednesday night mm -hmm. from seven till nine p.m. Also in okay. the month of December. At Willisted. I believe it's right in Willisted Manor, not in the coach house next okay. door, but right in the manor itself. That's so. exciting. Yeah. That should be very exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, <laughs> so tell us about your Facebook page. You have a Facebook page? I do. It's Chantilly Lace. Uh, so two words, just Chantilly Lace, like the perfume, right? Can you spell so. that out? <laughs> C-H-A-N-T-I-L-L-Y. Mm -hmm. And the second word, Lace, L-A-C-E. Okay, great. And it's just, uh, you can find me on Facebook and add me. Okay, great. And are you wearing rings that you've made or bracelets or anything? Oh, yes, that's right. I've got a couple of Zaworskis here. And uh, my newest silver rings, too. So, um, of course, they're all on display. Uh, you can uh, find them on my webpage, too, if you're looking for more. Okay, great. We'll be right back after these commercials. You're watching Nexus TV, streaming live from downtown Windsor, from the Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator, and this is Beyond Incredible with Ashley Nicole. We'll be right back.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of this program, Beyond the Incredible, a wild ride to the brink of madness. As always, presenting the topics others might be too afraid to expose to the public. But let me tell you, the truth is the giant incredible, as it is the title of this program. Fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride. <laughs> You're watching XTV TV, streaming live from downtown Windsor, from the Windsor Downtown Bill Accelerator, and this is Beyond Incredible with Agent Nicole. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now our closing segment. Thank you for being on our show, Chantel. Yeah, thanks for having um, me. If you guys are interested, check her out at the Willisted Manor. Um, also, she does have a phone number that you can call. Um, what's your phone number? Yeah, sure. It's 519-567-2777. If you guys are interested in you know, getting any alterations or jackets made or anything like that. Um, so thank you for watching Beyond Incredible with Ashley Nicole at Access TV Stream Live by Nockstrom Digital Media from the Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator, 720 Olet Ave. If you would like to start a business, here is the best place to start. Mm -hmm. See you all next week.